Hello, this is a demonstration of Portara's API integrating into the new SmartQuant framework for professional CTAs and C Sharp developers. In OpenQuant 2014, all these solutions are independently openable in Visual Studio, which means that you can easily set breakpoints in the loops between your trades and investigate and corroborate what is going on. Let's see how we can use Smart Quant and Portara to explore and find profitable trading strategies with continuous futures using a simple backtesting strategy inside Smart Quant. But first, we need to run off some data. So we shall do that. We'll click on Row Manager and drag that in. We'll choose three random symbols BP, Bean Oil, and Corn. There we go. And we'll roll those contracts. And now that's complete, we shall use the compression manager with the smart quant template. Select the symbols we've just created, make sure the template settings are applied, and we'll do five minute bar, that's as good as any for the demonstration, and create streams. So now we've got data, let's open up the Bollinger Band solution in Visual Studio and we'll look at how easy it is to get Portara's API in. I've already done it here and all you need to do is right click on references, add reference and then point to the program folder and into Portara and pick up the Portara API DLL in there. It's as simple as that. Okay and then once we're done we shall open the C Sharp scenario file and we'll take a look at how we we make calls into that API. Okay so let's examine the code. I'm going to set a breakpoint and run to that breakpoint and there's a couple of variables that you need to set. An extension, it doesn't have to be TXT, it can be anything you want, but, but SmartQuant does favour TXT extension. The database can be off the intraday or the daily, in this case it's five minutes off the intraday database and the compression is 5. Create the Portara object and then the first of the calls is get symbols list from the Portara API and it does what it says right there. There's bean oil and BP and corn so it's got the list for you to loop through. goes through the strategy and then for each of the symbols in that list it's going to add an instrument and when it gets to the next call it's, uh, it here is get historical bars, it's going to send in the, the data off your variables up here and it's going to return the bars in the whole of that series there and we can see there the count is 21,083 different bars and we can see the first bar there with the the two relevant timestamps and the open high, low, close and the volume. So what I'm going to do now is remove the breakpoint and let this code run and I've got a black box here off screen which I'm going to drag in and we shall wait for that to complete and we can see there that the subscriptions were to the correct instrument and that strategy is now completed so now let's return to SmartQuant and have a look what's going on inside there so we're back into OpenQuant, we're going to click onto Bollinger Bands and open the scenario in the Bollinger Band strategy and I'm simply going to copy and paste in the code we were working with in Visual Studio so it's exactly the same. I press the F7 key to compile and now I'm going to press the, the F5 key to run that and we can see here that that is running successfully. And now it's finished. I'm going to go to view and chart gapless. And we'll take a look at the chart. If we scroll all the way back to our inception date, we're looking at a beautiful continuous back adjusted stream of bean oil. And if I pull the chart down, we'll just see where we're up to. The first bar in there is a high of 3971, 3970. 3971 and if we pull the file down to match there's the 0725 bar 3971 397170 
so we've got a perfect match and if you need to see what the symbol it was it came from and derived from there it is the 2014 March contract on the bean oil all sessions so we shall move that back up there and we can move through our files and our symbols there's BP and we've also got corn there back to our inception dates okay now we've found a working trading signal we may want to zoom in on the row process and optimize and automate the transactions there in smart quant this is known as a sell side strategy we need to make data import are available to sell side strategy calls to the port our API so let's look there first and then back to the Bollinger Band solution in Visual Studio. We can place Portara into sell side strategy mode for Smart Quant. We simply select the flag here, Smart Quant sell side mode, and we'll check that that's on. It is, and we're all good to go. So the first thing we need to do again is click on the role manager, and we'll drag that in and Roll contracts. And again, we'll compress that data up in exactly the same way. Create streams. And we're done. If you now take a look at that data, here is the folder, and you'll notice a new folder has appeared, SQ cell side, which we shall go into and have a look at the five minute actual data that we've run off, which is going to knit back into the continuous data. And let me just remind you, there is the original British pound, and we'll see there that at the bottom we're, we're actually on BPA 2015M. So the next contract we need to roll into in the HMUZ series is the U contract so let's take a look at BP that we've just ran off with the sell side and we drag that in and there's the U contract there that we're going to knit into at some point which is all the the actual data okay and now that we've created our sell side data we've opened up Visual Studio and the Bollinger Band solution once again I've placed a, a breakpoint in here and we're going to run to that breakpoint and we'll have a look at some new calls to the Portara API that I've placed in here so the first thing we need to do is create the Portara object and once the objects there we're going to look at get commodity rolled contracts names list and we'll step across that and we'll have a look in that object and we can see BPA 2014M all the way down to 2015M and these are the actual contracts that made up our continuous contract when we first created data and just to remind you I'll pull in that data and we can see there that it goes from BPA 2014M through to the U contract and the Z and the H and it ends up at the M contract there so that's the that's the continuous data and then the next thing we do is if we step through we come to this new call the get current and next contract names so it's going to pass in our commodity name BP and it's going to return the current contract which you've just seen it gets from the the bottom of the continuous file and the next contract the most important part is it's going to return BPA 2015 U and it knows exactly which contract to get internally inside Portara so if you're trading something like crude oil and you're jumping over every other contract it's not going to return the one here that you don't want okay and then finally it then will make a call to get the current contract data and we'll have a look in that object and we can see there's 5051 lines and bar in there and the first one we can see with the open high low close and volume this has come off the BPA 2015 M contract and finally a call to the next contract data which is the sell side data which you you saw us create with 1211 bars in there on the first bar there showing the open high low and close 
and the value. So in summary we've seen how to make profitable trading strategies and explore and find profitable trading edges using Portara and SmartQuant. We've also zoomed in on the roll process and we've seen working trading signals that you may want to develop and optimize and with these two tasks taken care of you may develop trade and maintain futures and FX based strategies in a seamless manner using Portara and SmartQuant. Thank you.